So Dan, let's talk draw distances and RAM. Uh, go for it. Yeah, well, the big thing with PlayStation 4, and this was kind of the shock announcement at the PlayStation meeting, is that they're going to have 8 gigs of what's called GDDR RAM in the machine, which is like, not only is 8 gigs a really whopping amount of RAM, it's kind of like a sort of turbo RAM that really moves fast. Mm. So it's this is really, you know, high-end stuff. And yeah. like, uh, we'll talk about it later, how that compares with the cutting-edge PC hardware. But we can see there already GTA 5 is gunning for quite ambitious draw distances. Mm. Um, and if we see what PlayStation 4 is capable of, uh, you know, in this footage of Killzone again, the draw distances are, they're amazing. Yeah, they are. Now, it could be, as we, we talked about, an illusion, like an illusion of a background, and you can't actually fly there or go mm. there. Either way, it looks fantastic. Um, and, you know, and it's quite possible, looking at the achievements of games like Far Cry 3 that you can render this stuff yeah. and make it quite possible to go there. Now, traditionally, draw distance, which is you know basically how far you can see into the horizon and how much the game renders the background, it's been a bit of a problem for GTA. Um, GTA 4 on PS3 wasn't bad, largely because they masked it with giant skyscrapers. Yeah. But certainly in San Andreas, you'd be watching the scenery block in in front of you, yeah, and yeah. certainly in earlier games. Now, you know, this all ties back to what uh, Mark Cerny, who's been designing PlayStation 4, says. And you know, his big announcement was, it's got 8 gig of unified memory. Um, now, unified memory may not mean much to you, does it? No. Explain what unified Aha. memory means, well, Dan. The problem with PlayStation 3 uh, was that it had 512 meg of, like, split memory. And this, is, this in fact, is partially blamed for the reason that Skyrim looks so laggy on PlayStation 3. This is quite an infamous incident of it being, you know, rim lag, it was called. Yeah. Um, now, that was partly because of this 512 memory, it was actually partitioned. So 256 was set up for the video, 256 for sort of systems. Where on Xbox, it had 512, the same volume of RAM, which is making any sense to him. It is, yeah, I'm yeah. listening, yeah. 512 five, five, <laughs> of, of, of unified RAM, but you could use it how you wanted. Yeah, you could divide it up kind of how Yeah, you so it. as a result, you know, it might not be the case because Bethesda have never actually gone totally public on it, but it might be one of the reasons that Skyrim had struggled on PS3. Now, with PlayStation 4, we're talking about not only this sort of special brand of Turbo RAM, we're talking about uh, 16 times the amount of storage, uh, you know, being held in memory at any one time. That's an incredible leap. Yeah. Now, by and large, generational leaps have been like with six to eight times the size of RAM. So yeah. it goes 16 times. I mean, you know, that really is saying that Sony are building a console for the future. How have they managed to get that that much more out of it? I mean, because they're using... You, we talked off camera about this NVIDIA kind of um, graphics card they use. They, they, well, well, yeah. But the point is, explain. Yeah, the point is that NVIDIA, their top end thousand dollar graphics card the geforce titan only offers like inverted commas six gig of onboard gddr memory yeah so for sony to include eight gig is incredible yeah it's it's another it's, it's not just really a generational leap is it it's like a generation and a half almost yeah yeah it's a bit it's a big leap and again you know for what is essentially a machine built out of relatively cutting edge pc tech the RAM is the thing that developers push for. It's the thing that will hopefully allow like, like much more textures, much more information, system stuff to be held in the background. What it really means for us is that when we play, you know, hopefully in time GTA 5, we'll have to suffer a lot less, uh, you know, leave house, walk on the street, wait for loading, yeah. go to this other mission, wait for loading, uh, look at the background, textures popping in. And, you know, right now we see what gaming is. It's this. Yeah. It's, it's, you know, it's realms of bars and updates and patches and waiting and slogging and... Ugh. It's, it's especially prescient for um, a game like uh, GTA V as well, which is based on a version of Los Angeles. Los Angeles being predominantly low-rise. Yeah. Because, as you said, uh, you know, we, we to talked about before, you know, Liberty City at least was able to mask its relatively small draw distances with skyscrapers, whereas that's not really generally no, possible. It's, it's not a luxury they're afforded anymore and as you see from screenshots like the Griffiths Observatory screenshot yeah. there's a lot of background there and they're really going to benefit from what PS4 can give them. Uh, also you know we say uh, even if they are streaming off the Blu-ray disc in a sort of hidden way like a game like Dragon's Dogma does um, there's a six times speed Blu-ray drive in PS4 compared to the two times drive on uh, PS3 so you know all being well we've got the great environment to create really rich environments.